Hi friends, it's Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Walking around St. Petersburg today, found this cool mural. I don't know what its meaning is, maybe just a rainbow head, but it's a pretty cool one. This city is full of these murals. Walk around one day, very soon, the weather's perfect now, we can walk around and I'll show you some of the cool artwork that's being done all around the city. But that's not why we're here today. The reason we're here is because we're going to go to the oldest food restaurant establishment, a food restaurant, a restaurant establishment in St. Petersburg. Do you know, do you want to know what it is? The oldest restaurant in St. Petersburg. It's the Coney Island. This place has got some of the best hot dogs, hamburgers, for the best price, definitely the best malt that I've had anywhere around. And right down here is Mirror Lake. You see the fountain right at the end of the sidewalk. And I live just a few minutes from here. I'm gonna take you inside and maybe show you what it looks like. It's a very clean place. I love this place. Let's go check it out. Buttermilk? I've never seen buttermilk on the menu ever. Hey, so oh, hot sauce. Oh, yes. Yeah. Crystal or Tabasco? Crystal. Thanks, man. Guys, I want to show you a little bit more, but I got so excited about the Coney Dogs, I just kind of lost myself in them. But you saw the postcard? I bought one. If you guys go to patreon.com and if you want to help support World's Greatest Kiting, help get new equipment, help put gas in the van to go to different adventures so you can keep watching these videos, you can go to patreon.com, you can donate a dollar to five dollars a month. And if you do, I'll send you one of these when I go on my travels. In fact, anybody that signs up to Patreon, I'm going to send one of these too before the end of this month. I'm not just going to send you any postcard. I'm going to send you postcards from the St. Pete Coney Island Grill. You're going to get one of these. I'm going to write on it myself and I'm going to send it right to you. If you go over to Patreon and you donate anything this month, I'm going to send you one. Thanks. It's just getting a little out of control. Every time I go to eat, it's in my mouth. I should have seen how many napkins I needed to clean off the Coney dog from my face earlier. So I've just been thinking about cleaning it up a bit, you know? I am in real estate. That is my main occupation. And I'm just interested in maybe a switch. What do you guys think? Do you think I should cut it off? Or do you think I should not cut it off? One thing I won't be doing is stepping in front of this city bus. Downtown St. Pete's got a lot of cool stuff. That is actually a free trolley. If you're going anywhere within like 10 blocks, it's a free ride for you. So there's a little post there. Guys, I did it again. I gotta jump start my van. I need the Minimax. Uh. Check it out. These guys are still working up there. Pouring concrete. 
windy out here, guys. We're going to fly this kite anyway. And we're going to play a game that you probably haven't seen. Maybe in your lifetime, maybe you've only heard of it. But a few years back, rehabbing a house, I found this in an attic. Do you want to know what it is? Of course you do. Jarts. Lawn darts, man, the real deal. We're going to play it tonight. I don't think we're allowed to play this anymore, so says somebody, but... What, do you hear the wind against the trees? Just cooking out with our friends tonight. Gonna enjoy some grilling out and hanging out and throw some kites and jerks. So Drayton, we're here at Maximum Park, Park where we have our cookouts. And it is super windy out, as you can tell with my beard. Show them the waves. So I'm wondering if there's a type of kite that you can fly in this type of wind. Uh, uh, to answer the question, Tim, thank you for asking. Yes, it is possible to fly kite in this type of wind. dangerous for lawn darts at this time. Friends, I'm home now. We're back from the, uh, the cookout that went awry. We actually went back to our friend Tim's house and had the cookout at his place indoors because it was so windy we couldn't even get a grill started. And uh, so everything was good though. We had a great time. In fact, we had such a great time. I want to share something with you. We had a short debate on the lyrics to an MC Hammer song. Tell me what you think the real lyrics are. Is it <laughs> from London to LA, Los Angeles, or is it from London to the Bay in the song Hammer Time, or is it, yeah, Hammer Time. Are those, the, which, are, which do you think are the lyrics? Because tonight we found out what the real lyrics were. Do you know how we found out? We tweeted MC Hammer himself, the official MC Hammer page, <laughs> and he himself tweeted back and said the real lyrics, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. So there you have it. He is from the San Francisco Bay Area, Oakland to be exact, and it is definitely the Bay, not LA as I thought it was. And many of you might have thought it was, but hopefully that's a fun 
thing for you. It's very cool when someone messages you back, <laughs> somebody like that that you don't think might uh, even pay attention. But that was pretty fun. So uh, we had a great night. It was a fun time. Uh, didn't get to many kites. It was so windy out there. But uh, I do want to take the eye flight out tomorrow someplace. And we'll, you know, I looked around today, but it was a little bit difficult to find. And uh, in the situations that I came across today. So anyway, hope you're having a good day, a good evening if you're watching this at nighttime. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Happy flying. And let me know what you think about this crazy stuff. Should I cut this off? I think I should cut it off. Leave a comment below. Is this too much? What's going on? Happy flying. See, the weird thing is that the internet said London to the bank. That doesn't even make any sense. But like three different places said the bank. At least a geographical location like a city that rhymed with the song somehow. It was weird. Glad we got it clarified, though. That was really cool. Thanks, Tim.